Welcome to this introduction video of Rapid Value. In this video, I will introduce the implement and test functionality of Rapid Value. Rapid Value is a business process modeling solution that helps you in modeling your business processes. The processes can be used during implementation to mitigate risks, during operations to give users guidelines and instructions, and help you to evolve when the company evolves. In this video, I will demonstrate the implement and test options with Rapid Value. I will start in the business process implementation workspace. This workspace has the focus on implementation. You see requirements, you see a scope, you see gaps, etc. But let's start with the scope definition. In this view, you can set different processes in and out of scope for the implementation by pressing these buttons in the top. Maybe it is when it's out of scope, not implemented at all, or maybe it's in another phase. In this example, you see all the retail processes out of scope. Now, when I finish setting up my scope, I can verify with the users all these processes, which are in scope. In this view, you can set the different processes that are either a fit or a gap. For example, the create production order as a gap. Related to this gap, and you can create a requirement. This requirement can be synced with requirements in DevOps. So possibly a developer can take action and give feedback when it is solved. When all processes and fits and gaps are done, then we can start the testing of the processes. You can specify the different tests per process. In this case, I select my create purchase order manually. You already see that there are some notifications of one field tests. On this process, I have two tests. In the design of a test, I can see which activities will be tested. In this case, all these activities will be tested. They're a little bit darker colored than the other activities. And of course, you can add to these tests. If the tests are done, you can assign a test running you to a user. And the result of this test run, you see it has a field status. That is this test run. If I like to see more details, uh, I will open it. And you see in the preview, for instance, that the populate item procurement is red. And that means that it was a failed test. The other tests are green and those were successful. Now you get the option to, of course, when the test fails there, add another requirement, which can be then picked up again. This is what I wanted to show you of the first introduction to the rapid value implementation and tests. Thank you for viewing this introduction. And if you'd like to have more information, please visit our website or docs.toincrease.com.